what does channeling feel like and first of all Merry Christmas and an almost happy new year I want to talk about what it feels like to channel because there are a lot of people that don't even realize that they are channeling because it is so subtle. When we think of channelers, we think of mediums that have this very clear connection to beings, spirits beyond the veil. But being a channel is way more than that. And you can channel in a variety of different ways and it really depends on what are your strong features, what are you good at in the 3D world, in the, your day-to-day -day life, that is the way that you will excel in the psychic world. Um, if you're new to me or you haven't been following me for very long, I've been channeling my spirit guides for about 20 years now and um, yeah the thing is with channeling most people have their own way they have one way that works very good for them some people have a very clear visuals and they're clairvoyant and they see a lot of things other people hear voices talking to them then there are other people that just sense everything in emotional ways empaths as if it's their own emotions they can feel somebody else's pain happiness all of that stuff and there are people that just have a deep inner knowing they know something like a truth that they are just convinced of and it's something that they've received as a, a claircognizant download basically so if you go look at the things that you are good at some people are very good in being creative they are very good um, they're very visual people with very visual um, memories and they may channel their guides through receiving images through painting um, then there are people that are very musical very auditory they may receive um, messages through hearing they may um, create music they may sing that is also a way of channeling light language um, and look at whether you are a talker or a listener because some people will receive channeled messages from their spirit guides in meditation and only in meditation well you can train to receive these messages in other ways but the first like the, the clearest channel for these people will be meditation because they are good at listening at receiving and then there are people that will receive these messages through channeling that when they are meditating that it's good for them but the real messages the real channel opens up when they are in communication when they can speak so for some people it means having a recorder ready and opening your mouth and then you're channeling and for another person it happens when they have their eyes closed in meditation when they're listening for other people it's through writing if you are a creative writer then that is the way your best way to receive messages that are going to be clear that are you are going to be convinced of that these are your spirit guides you can develop all the other ways you can train all of these gifts but we're always going to be different so one person is going to receive this information completely different from the person next door so to speak um what i actually want to say about this is that i realize and i see this that a lot of people that are on a spiritual journey or they're going through a shift they're being asked to really step it up and then they, i uh, <laughs> and then i also see a lot of people that are now awakening and it's happening very fast and it can get very overwhelming and all these gifts that have been shut down or not or ignored really um, they are all starting to come up to the surface and it gets confusing and you need some guidance and that is exactly why I created my free course activate your telephone line to source um, about two years ago now and it is a very basic course and i put all the information in there that i have gathered over the last 20 years and 
put it in different video modules. You can learn different ways of channeling, different ways of connecting to your spirit guides, the different types of spirit guides, and what works for you, and just some easy tips and tricks on how to fine-tune these abilities, and anyone can do this. It's just all about knowing how to do it, what to look for, what it feels like. Again, a little bit about this feeling. Because some people may feel source energy as a warm, sunny feeling in their chest. Like you feel this connection, other people will see a visual golden light or something similar. And both are valid ways of receiving this information. So one person is not more connected to source than the other person. But I talk about all this in my free course. If you want to check it out, it's on my it's in my Facebook group, Activate Your Telephone Line to Source. If you type that in, you will find it, or you can just contact me and I can send you an invitation. So if you have any questions about psychic abilities, about spiritual awakening, if you notice that you could use some extra guidance, um, check out my free course. And that is it for now. I will be back later. Bye.